I'm Manny Gonzalez and I'm speaking of stress. We're in the Florida Keys near Isla Morada and we're having a great time. And I just want to share with you the beauty of the outdoors. The color of this ocean is incredible. There's a little bit of a cloudy sky. The sun's trying to peek through, but it's wonderful to be alive. And as we travel around and we talk to people and we enjoy, enjoy the outdoors, I'm always keeping in mind, how can we minimize stress? Speaking of stress is dedicated to helping you try to find ways to decrease control and minimize stress in your life. And right now it's a little bit windy. I'm hoping you can hear me. I don't want to scream, but this is a nice place to be. It's a fun place. Lots of traffic on Highway A1A that goes right to Key West. And one thing that I've been thinking about as we travel and visit different places is hospitality. We've had people that have been so hospitable to us, so friendly, so welcoming, and that's important. You know that the Bible talks about when you entertain strangers, you may be entertaining angels. <laughs> Not only that, it tells you when a person comes from a foreign land somewhere far away, you treat them well. You open your arms to them, your house to them. You're gentle and kind to them. I remember when I worked at Children's Memorial Hospital in Chicago, and we had all these severely ill and disabled children. And parents would come from all over the world, from Poland, from China, from South America. And my job was to greet them, help them organize their life, prepare for the disability their child is gonna have, and arrange for the medical treatment and follow-up. And so many wonderful, beautiful children that I met so many years, so many years ago. And you know what? Those parents came in afraid. Many didn't know the language, had no resources. Thank God for Ronald McDonald House. We could place them there and all their needs would be met cost-free. So that a place like that, like Ronald McDonald House, so welcoming, they would have toys and things for the children to be occupied with, even clothes and meals. So it's important that we, as Christians, the good Lord tells us, love God above all things, and it tells us to love our neighbor as ourselves. So when we see people, when we visit people, or we, we when we have people visit us, always make an effort to have open arms. And you know what? We are too quick to judge. Sometimes from appearances. In fact, we saw a guy here at the beach. He's carrying his fishing pole. He's on a skateboard. And he's zooming all over the place. But he was very, very friendly. We talked to him. He told us about his catch for the day. How tasty it was. So we exchanged ideas. And he was a happy guy. And we were happy because he was nice to us. We stopped at a... Uh, gift store to get one of these big seashells and we talked to the lady there and I says ma'am beautiful place you got here and as we talked with her, she was very friendly I says you know what I want the fish dinner plus I want key lime pie <laughs> oh gotta have that so she says hey I tell you what here's my card on the back of it it's got the name of a restaurant Mrs. Jack's Diner so you know what we put it on the GPS and there we went and we got their beautiful place. There's all sorts of nautical items, paintings on the wall, even the bathroom was beautiful. So it was a very nice place. The meal was great. The attention we got was wonderful. And as we walked out, I asked the lady at the counter, are you Mrs. Jack? And she says, no, I'm not. I wish I was, everybody thinks I am because apparently she makes big dough there. And there was a fella there, a young kid, and he says, I'm Mrs. Jack's nephew. And it turns out that it's a family business going back many, many years. And here's her, her nephew. And we talked, they were so welcoming us, telling us about the area, 
and just being so friendly. And you know what? We never met these people. We don't know them. Of course, he was a business. It's an establishment. They want our business. But you know what? They were kind. They were friendly. They were nice to us. So we felt very comfortable. So as we travel a lot around and people treat us right, wherever we're at, no matter who we're with, when we open our arms to people, when we're kind and friendly, easygoing, and interact with them, they feel better because I feel better. So that my message to you today is make an effort today to do what the good Lord told us to do. To go out of our way for those that are around us. Be friendly, be kind, be forgiving, and don't be so quick to judge as some of us are. Because you never know, like that fella that was on, he was on a skateboard, fishing. He looked a little bit different, kind of a tall guy with facial hair and wild clothes. But you know what, he was as nice as could be. So that let's stop judging people so quickly. Instead, let's focus on the heart. In fact, the Bible tells us God looks at the inward man, but man looks on the outward appearance. So when you look at me, what you see is not necessarily what's in here. When I met my wife and I saw all that beauty and charm physically, I was not aware that deep down it was even better. <laughs> she was just the most wonderful, greatest girl I've ever met. And she keeps telling me that she is the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> On the road, I better not argue. It's a deep ocean. But anyway, God bless you so much. Again, I'm Manny Gonzalez. I'm speaking of stress. I'm in the Florida Keys. And I encourage you, make an effort to go out of your way to appreciate, accept, embrace people. And let them know you care. And stop being so judgmental. Thank you so much. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.